Hello, and welcome to our safety training. My name is Daryl and I work in the safety department. Today's training will be on how to have a successful tailgate safety meeting. The idea for this safety meeting came out of going to some of the job sites and watching how the safety meetings were being done. Some of them were done really well, uh, tremendous, better than, better than we would hope for. Some of the others, eh, we had some mixed results. And I think you've been to some of those. You know the type where the foreman grabs hold of the paper, puts it down and says, here, read this and sign it. Today, we're going to watch a tailgate safety meeting to see how one is done successfully. After the safety meeting, we're going to come back and we're going to kind of discuss the successes on that safety meeting. Let's go ahead and watch that meeting. Good morning, guys. Let's go ahead and gather around. We'll get started. Today, we're going over the ladders. We have the step ladders. Yeah, I have a question. If a ladder is broken and everybody knows about it, can we still use it? That's another good question. No. If the ladder is broken, it needs to be tagged and removed from the job site. Okay, guys, let's make sure you sign in here, print and sign your name, and let's get started and have a safe day. Well, that was a pretty successful safety meeting. You know, I think before we go much farther, I need to explain success, what a successful safety meeting is all about. A successful safety meeting is one that communicates the hazards and communicates how to work safely around those hazards. By doing that, we become successful, and that is our first step. You know, right now I want to talk about some of the things that Mike did really well. The first thing was he was prepared. When he got there, he knew exactly the topic that he wanted to talk about, and he had his safety meeting all set up and ready to, for the sign-in sheet. He had some visual aids out on the job site. He had ladders so that he could point to them and show so that when he talked about something, guys got a good idea of what was going on. He got the crew involved. The crew got involved when he asked open-ended questions. The last part you want to remember is be confident. What you're saying is important. Thank you for your time. Our goal here was that you would take something away from this to make your safety meetings better. This meeting was not perfect. You can do better, and that's what we're hoping you'll do. We want to thank you again for your time, and we hope all of your safety meetings will be successful.